Hi, I'm Steve Levine and this is my studio. After relocating my studio to Liverpool, I wanted to set up the Steve Levine Academy. This is a way to give students from this area, who are interested in producing music and may want to pursue this as a career, a chance to learn some of the basic studio techniques. This will also help them get ahead, as many of the students from this area are often overlooked when it comes to paid internships or apprenticeship schemes. I was very fortunate because just as I was setting the studio up, we did an interview for the Liverpool Music Awards and it was noted that I'm setting the studio up. And I had an approach by this band, the Lottery Winners, who understood exactly what I was doing here and said if I needed a band to act as guinea pigs, they'd be happy to be here. And I'm really, really pleased that they volunteered their services because it gives my students the chance to work with a real band under real circumstances. We've even managed to achieve a really good session where we've recorded a full backing track and we've done a live acoustic session. So the students have been able to see how you would record a multi-track version of a song and a really stripped down acoustic version of which we film that to video. So that gives you yet another skill. They've been able to see miking up drums, miking up guitars, recording the vocals, and then completely contrasting that, a live session where we had to cut it all in one take. Those are really important skills because if you're doing a live venue, it's more akin to the live take. And if you're working in a studio, you need to understand the basics of overdubbing. So having the lottery winners here, and they're great musicians by the way, which has also been a bonus because when you're working with students, of course certain things do take a little bit longer as I have to explain some of the process. It's really helpful to have a band that can just nail it every time rather than the students being told how the process works and then having to sit around waiting for the right take. So I thank the lottery winners immensely for their time and their generous contribution to the sessions. When you start to recall nothing's reliant and God's lost his job in the name of science the short-lived weekends begin with longing the same sad songs from the birds in the morning cause she's in love with someone new she's in love with someone what am I new. supposed to do with my heavy heavy working heart. with Steve has it's been an eye-opener because we've done other things differently to how we've done this is, is you know, is, it's definitely is got his own kind of techniques, and and we've worked with quite a few producers, and I, I don't want to you know say that Steve's the best one we've ever worked with, but Steve's the best one we've ever worked with, and uh, he's just he's got his own techniques, and he's got really specific ways of doing things which give it that Steve Levine sound that we've completely stolen. We're going to take. Um, using our own productions, and we're gonna just teach it to everybody. We just know everything. We know the secret now. We, we we're gonna be the next culture. He was the holder of it. He was the holder of the secret. He's the keeper of the secret, and he's let it slip to a bunch of loud lads from uh, from Lee in Lancashire. So unlucky, Steve. I don't know how difficult it is for young people to get that first foot on the ladder to really access those paid apprenticeship or paid internship opportunities. I'm I'm involved and be very active in the campaign against unpaid internships but it's fair to say within the creative industry sector there's still lots of opportunities that are being presented that aren't being paid which means people from more disadvantaged backgrounds just can't put themselves forward because they can't afford to do it so programs like this are absolutely crucial. We've seen how kind of rewarding it's been for, for the young students and how much they're into it and how much they're thrilled to be here so it's gonna work anywhere. Yeah, it can work anywhere and translate to wherever you take it to. I mean I, I wish I, I mean I know I've got this opportunity now and we've all got this opportunity and that's amazing but like obviously we we're interested in the production side of music as well to have that the opportunity that, that them lads have got at, you know at the age of 18 or however however old they are it's phenomenal it's amazing really i'll tell you what it's been a real good experience to work with someone who's been um you know producing top of the range bands etc working with local artists it's oh, top of the range really down to work guy i've learned quite a lot from him for, for the last couple of days now lovely and I've learnt like different micing techniques and like tricks like you know when you like recording bass drums and where to place the mic and that and um, yeah. I've taken up a better sense of pitch after working with Steve after recording the band's vocals because I was able to drag the um, to correct notes up and down for the actual track in order to make it sound in pitch. I was working in the studio up in Norris Green and the guy there had heard about the project and put me forward for it. The position and the microphone and yeah. makes a big difference and yeah just experimenting with different instruments as well. Yeah. A lot of it's just been the tips and tricks. 
that can impress other studios when I'm working there and others um just how he thinks of arranging a song, like how he's taking it from what it was to what it is now. I met Steve and Karen when they were talking about coming to Liverpool and uh, as a big music fan stuff I was just dead impressed to meet Steve first. It was great to have someone of that stature moving him what he does to Liverpool. It was brilliant. And then I was out with them one time. We were talking to Councillor Wendy Simon and Steve talked about this idea of working with some young people in Liverpool and doing a studio project where they got studio skills and then all of a sudden it was happening. It's a great thing that Steve's moved here full stop anyway, but then on top of that, the fact that he's you know, prepared to give something back and work with young people is brilliant. I think you know, the outcomes are, at the very least, um, you know, a bunch of young people, local young people have got a chance to work with, their, with an amazing producer, a band have got a chance to work with a great producer, and um, hopefully the young people will you know, they'll have an enjoyable week, they'll pick up some great skills, they'll get a feel for whether they, it's something they want to pursue. It's a win-win for everybody, really. I've learnt more in these two weeks than I have in a year of music technology in college. So I thought the whole premise of kind of working with young people and kind of upskilling them, but upskilling them as somebody who's been in the industry and knows how it really works, I thought was absolutely amazing. I'm absolutely delighted that Steve has come to live in Liverpool. We are an incredible city and I know that when anyone comes to visit they're surprised about how great it is and the opportunities that are available. To have somebody like Steve Levine coming to Liverpool, setting up in Liverpool, you know, and moving from what people believe is the epicentre in London to where real music happens, where there's a tremendous vibe, where um, there's a, 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 um, a hope of activity in the, the sort of south end of Liverpool especially is brilliant for us, but I think in the long term it'll be brilliant for Steve Levine and what Steve Levine's trying to achieve. This first bunch of students I think have had a great opportunity. What I'm hoping is, certainly with this video, is that we will now be able to expand and attract different types of students. Perhaps an older group of students who want to almost retrain, who'd like to, perhaps they were doing something else and really want to get into sound recording. Also those that need to really get up to speed for university, so they have a basic knowledge but need to be, if you like, fast-tracked. So those, those. And also I'd like to really give an opportunity to some of those from some of the more disenfranchised parts of our society who really do get left behind. And so those students I think will be very, very welcome. People in London look and go, what's going on in Liverpool? And we know in Liverpool that we are the number one music city in the world, you know, and Guinness Book of Records said it, but I think the movement of these very credible music artists and music producers and music industry to come to Liverpool, it's really important. In regard to the actual scheme they did the programme of training in, in Liverpool uh, and the academy, I think what that will do is give people a head start when they decide which genre they want to move into or which particular occupational area they want to move into in the industry and um, Steve will provide those people who've gone through the, the programme with a certificate with, which authenticates the fact that they have achieved uh, this, this experience, this work experience and that will give them a really good opportunity then when they're up against people from other areas in the country to say oh, look, look, look what I've done, look what I've, I've um, already achieved and look what my interests are um, and hopefully um, we'll see more Scousers um, from ordinary backgrounds making their way in the music industry both uh, in front of and behind the mic.